Sri Ramakrishna came down from the steps of the Shiva temples and went to his own room to the courtyard. The devotees were with him. Just then, Ram Chatterjee came and said that the Holy Mother's attendant had had an attack of cholera. Ram, to the master. I told you about it at ten o'clock this morning. But you didn't pay any attention to me. Master, what could I do? Ram, yes, what could you do? But there were Rakhal, Ramlal and others. Even they didn't pay any attention. M. Kishori has gone to Alam Bazar to get medicine. Master. Alone? Where will he get medicine? M. Yes, alone. He will get it at Alam Bazar. Master. To M. Tell the nurse what to do if the illness takes a turn for the worse or if the patient feels better. M. Yes, sir. The ladies mentioned before saluted the master and were about to take their leave. Sri Ramakrishna again said to them, Perform the Shiva Puja according to my instruction and have something to eat before you come here. Otherwise, I shall feel unhappy. Come another day. Sri Ramakrishna sat down on the porch west of his room. Narendra Banerjee, Hori, M and others sat by his side. The master knew about Norindro's family difficulties. Master You see, all these sufferings are because of a piece of loincloth. Footnote A reference to the following story which Sri Ramakrishna often told his devotees. There was a sannyasi whose only possession was two pairs of loin cloths. One day, a mouse nibbled at one piece. So the holy man kept a cat to protect his loin cloths from the mouse. Then he had to keep a cow to supply milk for the cat. Later, he had to engage a servant to look after the cow. Gradually, the number of his cows multiplied. He acquired pastures and farmland. He had to engage a number of servants. Thus, he became, in course of time, a sort of landlord. And last of all, he had to take a wife to look after his big household. One day, one of his friends, another monk, happened to visit him and was surprised to see his altered circumstances. When asked the reason, the holy man said, It is all for the sake of a piece of loincloth. Footnote ends A man takes a wife and begets children. Therefore, he must secure a job. The sadhu is worried about his loincloth and the householder about his wife. Further, 
the householder may not live on good terms with his relatives so he must live separately with his wife with a laugh chaitanno once said to nityananda listen to me brother a man entangled in worldliness can never be free m to himself perhaps the master is referring to the world of avidya it is the world of avidya that entangles a householder m was still living in a separate house with his wife on account of a misunderstanding with the other members of his family master to banerji pointing to m he also lives in a separate house you two will get along very well once two men happened to meet one said to the other who are you oh i am away from my country was the other's reply the second man then asked the first and who are you pray oh i am away from my beloved was the answer both were in the same plight so they got along very well all laugh but one need not have any fear if one takes refuge in god god protects his devotee